Hello everybody and welcome back to the planet Altaya. Sharji. Oh yeah, this is Sharji. This is this is Sharjia. Sharjila. I think it's only a Y sound if it's a double L. It depends. That, that's Spanish, so I don't know. Anyway, welcome back. Oh, to this blisteringly beautiful planet. <laughs> It is cool to see them like a tiny bit more details. I always hoped for it. Like I get like a lot of the planets, at least like from our experience, right? Like only one planet out of the like however many we've got, like nine in the immediate vicinity or whatever, are um, inhabited, have like natural life forms. So it makes sense that like. A hot, the vast majority of the planets out there are, like, not inhabited. You have to be in that, like, Goldilocks zone, at least for life as we know it. Um, but it would have been cool to see, like, we're traveling from system to system. Like, you'd think, potentially, like, one planet per system it has some sort of life on it. And they do. I, was, I, I don't know. I, I always just kind of hoped for a tiny bit more. But they do have life. Like, several of these planets do have life on them. The shifty cow. Oh, look at that. The lemurs. Oh, this is like a little camp. Oh, the Asari one now. Matriarch writing is not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things, one of Matriarch Dilanega's writings. So that's another collectathon. And the next, the next one to find is the Turian one. Well, the next like listing, I guess. Those ones are like, um, like. Plant, not plant, family markings, group mark, like face, like marks that they put on their faces and their flags to indicate like group membership. Thorium. I'm not sure where to go. Oh, next, I kind of know want to go. Rare element, nice. Um, to Novaria or to Pharos? I can't decide. I know it's slightly different. I think I, well, I don't know if I usually, but I think thematically, plot wise, it makes sense to go to Novaria. Oh, is that like metagaming though? Yeah, I think that is actually metagaming. Because we don't know, I, spoiler, tiny spoiler, I know that Benezia is there, but I don't think we, we, Shepherd, know that yet. Or maybe, maybe it was a sighting of Benezia that, or I thought it was maybe, I thought it was Geth in the area, and not, not necessarily Benezia. Alright, what's up with this? Who are you? You guys are obviously criminals. Yay! Hang on. I remember this is, I think, a decent place. Oh, no. Okay. No, I can't. We, we exited on the wrong side. If I can climb up. Okay. All targets down. They're not, but that's okay. Oh! I didn't think they could actually see me! <gasps> no, now I have to do it again! <laughs> I need to remember to save before I engage. Oh my gosh. I thought they couldn't, I thought they couldn't see me from there. Because it didn't, the, the light was like hitting the, like the laser beam was hitting the rock and I know on some of these before even when I couldn't when I didn't really have the sniper I would try to do it and it worked really well when you were actually an infiltrator and you could snipe from very very far away 
I think generally you're supposed to try to attack with your car, it's Mako. But if you can get a good spot where like you can peek over and see them and they can't see you. Um oh geez. Um you can snipe them down. Maybe this time I'll just try to use the the Mako. Okay. Got that one. And I got that one. You can't even see him. I just see that the uh, I get the experience and the money in the bottom. If you want to get more XP, you fight these guys on foot. <laughs> Alas. Heading out. I don't. I don't have the sniper rifle capability, or heavy armor, or whatever. I think even if I had heavy armor on, it wouldn't matter. <sighs> what do I get? Ooh, new shotgun. Hmm. It is higher damage. The accuracy isn't much better. But the heat sink capacity, I don't think the damage increase is enough for me to really want that heat sink. Unless I think the heat sink it might be being affected by that. But not that much, surely. Uh, let's see, let's just. Yeah, no. Let's just keep that one. I like being able to fire more shots. You get more damage per second, at least in like in my opinion. I'm sure you could math it out maybe, but um The damage increase is oh. enough for me to really be like, "Oh yeah." That's cool. Got that to blow up. Does anybody have any shields? Wait, nope. Who's who? I don't remember. 
Why? Why? Neither one of them should be touching a sniper. It's it's Tally. Tally has a sniper rifle. He can put a pistol on. He can use his freaking assault. Lock shield. enough but she had a shotgun too okay they just rush you they just they just they just rush you okay hang on a second first of all first of all why in the heck are you even holding a sniper rifle tally like that doesn't make any sense i need to tell you to do that that's for sure Okay. Rex is entering the same color armor as that one. Krogan. Well, don't just stand out in the open, Tally. Oh, they're both down. Great. Good to go. Okay. Um... Ow! You're... <laughs> This is where you need shockwave. Oh my gosh. All right. I will make you guys watch until I actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Hmm. We're down to two. Phoenix armor. Oh, nice! An army tool and a biotic amp. We don't. We haven't had those yet. 
Too bad I can't have medium armor yet, but uh, we've got, ooh, light armor. Oh my gosh, so many goodies. Oh, there's the phoenix armor, and, ooh, me oh no, I can't eat medium armor. The guardian, I think the guardian's good. Friggin' Turian armor, we could give Rhett, or uh, friggin' Garrus. Turian armor. Some pink Turian armor. Let's see. Oh ho ho! Yes, please. Scimitar. Do I want. Biotic amp. Duration bonus. Power bonus. Cooldown bonus. Hmm. Sure. Give it a whirl. Oh, well, no, not as good. It's got more shields, but I would prefer the damage and the tech biotic protection, really. It's not even that much of an improvement in the shields. Someday I'll be able to wear medium armor. Okie dokie. Well, that's, this was worth it. At least, you know, if I don't get killed by whoever this person is. I think they're above me. Oh, and there is... Here. Let's go grab this meta gel before I forget. Oh, an upgrade kit, too. <gasps> upgrade kit. Oh, dang. Not, not, the, not the upgrade I wanted. I'm actually not sure. I think this is one that, like, you're supposed to be able to, like, jump up and get it, but you can't. Or maybe it's just there as a prop. It's not actually something you can interact with. Take too long? We did. Oh, this is... Uh, I knew it! I knew it. This was... Well, I, not necessarily I knew it, but this is this is the Nasana Dantius. No, enough of your shenanigans. Which one is it? using a freaking pistol. She's an Asari slaver, and we're gonna find the data on her. So we'll get to see the scenario that I actually uh, postulated, not postulated, I guess, but uh, mentioned in a different video, where if you stumble upon this this quest, it, it'll uh, change the way your interaction with the Son of Dantius works. So that's cool. <laughs> So that is an important ambassador on the Citadel. Our sisters, you should return to the Presidium and confront Nisana with this. Decryption skill too low. Freaking my decryption skill. Freaking what? What do you mean? Tally. My decryption skill is so high. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm never going to remember to come back here is the thing, you know? Like, oh yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the Sharjah planet. In the Sparta system or whatever system I'm in. I'm just not gonna do that. 
but this is, uh, <laughs> I think it's less ideal if you stumble upon it first, but I can't remember. I, I remember how it works out more if you talk to Masana first. So, this will be interesting for me. I think I've only done it this way, like, twice? Maybe once or twice? And it's still got... The destination marker. It's okay. Maybe it'll do that if I... It won't, like, whoop, act like I've, uh... I think I got everything. Maybe I didn't get everything I wanted. I think I did. I think I usually do before I run around to the main mission-y part of that. Sorry, diplomacy. Dahlia Dantes, according to a data pad found on Dahlia's body, sister Nasana is a diplomat in the Citadel. Dahlia was evidently blackmailing Nasana by threatening to reveal her own existence and ruin Nasana's career. Nasana will want to hear the news that her sister is dead. <laughs> Meet with Nasana. We did not do that. Because she goes like, what does she say? Since we won't see it this time, she does say something like, My dear sister is missing, and blah, I think she's been taken by slavers, blah, blah, blah. And it's like this sob story. And then it turns out that actually her sister is a slaver, and yeah, has been holding that over her head. Not that Masana is nice at all. Uh, she's just mad that uh, Dahlia was using that to blackmail her. What? Oh, yeah. Let's see what else is in the area. Ardea. It's so close to the center. Survey. Matriarch writing. Strange in the coast from orbit. Navigator press to determine signals from each beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found a matriarch to his writings. The cross is mainly composed of silica. These loads may prove rich enough to be profitably mined despite the heavy gravity. It's just little things that like, ma like there's like mining considerations and stuff, like all kinds of things. It's, it's just cool. Like it feels, it makes the galaxy feel very lived in to me to read these little blurbs about things that you would find potentially in a galactic map, you know, like considerations like archaeology, geology, atmosphere, mining, you know, all kinds of stuff. While dreadfully inhospitable to humans, Patavig is suitable for combination by the Volus. Negotiations between Systems Alliance and the Volus patron, the Turian hierarchy, have made good progress. Uh, yes, it's got a vast sea of liquid ammonia and a unique aquatic ammonia based biosphere belt. Many complex organisms, many larger than a human, flourish in the chilly, toxic seas. But yeah, the Volus are, they, they live in ammonia-based environments. So they're the only ones that can thrive in those kind of planets. Fargaloos. It's a standard hydrogen really a gas giant. Gas deposit survey. Nice. That's, oh, we were in the Mastodon system. Shvata. Athens. Anyway, I'm not sure how long this episode is. Hopefully it's not too long or too short, but I'm going to call it here. We'll go explore Athens and then go from there. So I hope you all are enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.